My name is Mark Single and I'm the Head of Boarding at Bournemouth Collegiate School. Our boarding principles and our aims. We want to have a, a traditional boarding value system, but we want it in a modern setting. Yes, we want our students to understand compassion, understanding, sharing, supporting one another, but we want to do it in an environment where they have Wi-Fi, where they have a PlayStation and comfy duvets. So it's so lovely when you hear past students say you know, that the experience really helped them through school. What is one of the key factors of that? It's our team. We have a boys house and a girls house and we have a fantastic team in boys and a fantastic team in girls. Our girls house is situated in the main building and the boys just behind the sports hall. We have a boarding community with a fantastic mix of age ranges and a fantastic mix of nationalities. One of the things that I am most proud of is that when you're in the dining hall, when you're walking through the corridors, when you're in either house, that you have a year seven sat with a year 13. We have approximately just under 30% of our boarders are UK based, British, uh, just under 30% are mainland Europe, uh, and the rest are further afield. But the thing that we are most proud of is how well they all mix together. We celebrate our internationalism uh, by having things such as International Evening. It's a fantastic opportunity for the boarding students to actually share their culture, their country, their home uh, with the other boarders. And we are never short of volunteers, of those wanting to actually stand up in front of their friends and actually explain where they're from, uh, what is their traditional food, what is their traditional dress. We strongly believe in the 24-hour curriculum here at Bournemouth Collegiate School. Many of our British boarders are actually members of the Swimming Academy, but it could mean a very early start, sometimes quite a late finish. And the boarding structure we have here allows them to actually do that and make sure that they're supported when they come back with a meal and, of course, being able to do their homework. Monday to Friday, they get up at about 7.20, 7.25, and get ready to go down to breakfast, which is 10 to 8. After their breakfast, they would return back to the boarding houses to make sure they have everything for the day before they go off to registration. Registration's at 8.40, and their first lesson will be at 9.10. Our academic lessons finish at 3.40, uh, and then we go into our co-curricular activities. We have a vast number of co-curricular activities available. At 4.40, our boarding students are able to come back to the boarding house and on most days the senior students might pop into town just to buy a coffee or a magazine before they come back to get ready for supper. In the evening we have a number of different activities as well but our main activities are on a Saturday and we do things such as go-karting, laser quest, uh, we go to Stonehenge. We have a, um, a huge range of weekends activities which for us is incredibly important because of course we don't have exit at weekends and it's essential that our young people always feel as though they have enough to do. We have the huge advantage that we are a matter of five minutes away from the beach so in many respects we just have that as an extension to our campus. I'm very proud of what our boarding students achieve here. 87.5% of our, our boarding students last year actually achieved a grade A to C in their A levels, which meant that 75% of them actually went to university in the UK. That's a fantastic achievement. I can think of a number of students who joined us even last September, that their English language, by you know, listening and taking on board what we said, the support that we actually provide, their English has improved tenfold. Post-16, our students study A-levels. As within the school, we want to try and give our sixth form students a sense of independence. We want them working for themselves. And many of our Year 12 students have double ensuite rooms, and many Year 13 students have a single ensuite room. We find this is excellent preparation for university life. Many people ask me, what makes boarding at BCS different? For me, it's that personal care. Our teams know our boarding students and they know how to best support them. We support our students to do the very best they can. We want to collide them with as many opportunities as possible and we want them to explore those opportunities. We want them to work hard and we want them to achieve. For me, what is the greatest sense of satisfaction being here? I love my job. I love interacting with the boarders. I love meeting the new students in September. I love our, our parties, our activities. When you see someone grow and develop and they shake your hand at the end of the academic year, you know you've done the best you possibly could have done.